Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, my name is Kristen. Hello, welcome. I hope you hit that subscribe button and decide to be friends with me here on the internet and stick around and hang out with me every time a video goes up. So my hair looks pretty good on camera today. In real life, it's like in need of a wash, okay? It's like hair washing day, except I didn't do it. <laughs> I didn't feel like messing with blow drying. So anyway, I'm a little late on the bandwagon on getting this video out but it's coming before the end of January barely but it is it's gonna be my project pan 18 in 2018 if you guys don't know what project pan is you should definitely check it out um, there's a couple of youtubers who do project pans that I love to watch one of them is my friend here on YouTube her name is Bettina she is the makeup enthusiast and I will leave a channel link for her down below and also a link for her um, 2018 project pan and then there's another girl that I like to watch I think her name is Ashley it's weird like I watch her but like I don't know her channel name I'm not 100% sure on her actual name but I'll leave a channel link to her project pan down below as well if you want some more to follow yes you are hearing baby sounds my my son is right outside the door playing with Legos. You're gonna be hearing that. Uh, well, not Legos. They're the um, baby Legos. Whatever. So, <laughs> without any further ado, oh, so I guess I didn't actually tell you guys what um, Project Pan is. So, Project Pan is when you try to use up items that you already have in your makeup stash, things that you just want to plow through, things that you want to hit pan on in a year, things that you want to completely use up and get rid of. It's just like a serious goal of things that you just want to clear out and get rid of. And so for 2018, I really want to push myself really hard to use up a lot of the makeup products that I have that are just sitting around that I haven't used, haven't touched, and get rid of them. I'm really, 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 and I'm, I'm thinking about doing a no-buy series or something here on my channel. I'm like itchy right there. I don't know what's going on. Anyways, I'm thinking about trying to do like a no buy here on my channel, a series or a video talking about like not buying things, trying to cut back because I just have so much and I'm sure a lot of you feel the same way that I do. I know when I first found YouTube and fell into YouTube, I just started like buying all this stuff because everybody was showing it to me and I was like, oh, I want to try that, I want to have that. And so I'd get it, I'd try it, I might like it, I might not. It'd probably end up in my makeup drawer. Some things I use all the time, a lot of other things just sit around. And that's very wasteful. Not only is it like wasteful as far as um, products go, but it's also wasteful as far as like my money goes because if I buy something and it just sits in the back of a drawer, I might as well have taken a $50 bill and shoved it in the back of my makeup drawer, right? Except for doing that, then if I needed it, I could still have the money. <laughs> so, I'm going to try really hard this year not to buy makeup that I don't need, only buy as I need. Like currently, I need a setting spray. So, I'm going to allow myself to buy a setting spray. Currently, I do not need any more eyeshadow palettes, so I'm going to try not to do anything like that. Anyways. Let's go ahead and get started on my project pan. So the series is, of course, titled Project Pan 18 in 2018. So technically, I should be showing you 18 items that I want to use up in 2018. Um, I'm not sure that I have a full 18. I mean, I, I'm sure that I do. But I don't know that I want to throw it all in at once to get started with because I feel like that would be a little bit overwhelming. But we're going to go ahead and start it out with some palettes here. I feel like this is going to be a little bit of a challenge. So this one here is the Lorac Pro. My friend Haley gave it to me. Her and I did a makeup swap. I can leave a video link to that below if you want to check that out. Um, and she already hit pan. <laughs> can you hear that? Hi. Oh, he's already gone. Nobody there. <laughs> so she's... You weren't there. You want to come say hi to everybody? We might have a little guest to us. Yes. Lego? Thank you. We'll leave that open. He might come in and join. Hopefully that's not too annoying for anybody. My apologies. My videos are pretty informal. Yeah. Hi, baby. Hi. I'm over here. Yeah. Okay. Lego? Yeah, you can put them right there. Put them all right there. So, she's already hit pan on a few of these. Um... Lit bronze, champagne, and cream. All three have already had pan hit on them. I think you can see all of those right there. So we've got this one, the one above it, and then right there. Have all had pan hit. So my goal this year is to finish those 
up. I'm not putting a timeline on anything. I've watched some people and they start putting timelines on things where they're like, oh, I want to get these, this used up by the time I do my next check-in, which there will be a monthly check-in for my project pan so that you guys can see the progress I'm making and you can see if I'm bringing in like any new products. So my goal is to get those three shadows used up. So thank you, thank you Haley, <laughs> getting me off to a good start here. Um, so that is one goal. And then here in my Sweet Peach palette, uh, I just got this for Christmas, so I haven't been using it like for very long, but I think that I can pan this color right here. The color is Peaches and Cream, and I have been using it, I don't know that you can tell or not, but I've been using it quite a bit, pretty much every day, um, and it's getting a little bit of a dip started in it, so hopefully I can use that color up as well. Hashtag goals. So item number three is my NYX contour and highlight palette. So my current goal out of here is to get this shade right here used up. I know the lights are super bright, so I don't know if you can see it. Let me turn the lights off. I don't know if you guys can see that any better, maybe a little bit. It's definitely a very neutral color. It's very brightening. And I like to use it to set my under eyes right through here. So my goal right now is to use that guy up and then come summer, I'm going to see when I get a little more tan. This color right here is a little more of a yellow. He might work really well for setting the under eyes. I'm not sure, but if he works really well when I get a little more of a tan, um, then he'll be entering Project Pan in the summer. Next thing here, I feel like I could probably plow through it pretty quickly, but I just like have not been feeling foundations. In all honesty, I'd like to add all of my foundations to Project Pan and knock out all of them this year, but I just haven't been doing foundation. You guys can hear Sophia the first. She's singing. Go away, Sophia. <laughs> so, so anyway, um, I have this Avon True Color Foundation. I like it. It's a good foundation. I just haven't been feeling it. And like I said, like, look, I've used it up nearly half of the bottle. Like, if I really pushed myself, I can knock this guy out really quickly. Um, but I just, I want to get rid of my foundations. I want to use them up, and I don't know that I want to buy them again. Granted, there's some other foundations that, like, I want to try. It's kind of like a conflict. I have an inner conflict. Like, I want more foundations to try, but I'm also kind of over it. My dog just belched. You're gross. <laughs> so, we're going to include that in Project Pan. Um, these next two here are a couple of concealers that I have. Uh, I have the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I don't know why I'm throwing this in here. This guy's practically empty. I've got like two left, two uses left on him. Um, scratch that guy. He'll just be going into my empties as soon as I use him up within like the next couple of days. Um, this next one though is the Born This Way Too Faced Concealer. I feel like I'll be able to use him up pretty quickly, but he is on the list of things that need to go. So for lips, I really want to try to plow through some of my lip products, quite a few actually, because honestly, like I'm just not that into lip products, but I've got so many and they are really pretty. My son's over here playing with all of my husband's um, games. He's stacking them on the bed, so I'm, I'm sure you can hear that. Um, so anyways, I've got definitely like a lot of lipsticks and stuff and I really want to plow through a lot that I have and then I probably just won't repurchase them. But the first one that I have here is the NYX Lingerie. It's a really pretty color. I do like it. I'm wearing it today. And the color is in, I think, Baby Doll. Yeah, Baby Doll. It's a gorgeous color. I would recommend it. Everything I'm showing you guys, I will leave a link down below. There's nothing wrong with these products. I really enjoy all of them, but I just have so much. Um, and like I said, like with lipsticks and with foundations, I'm just like kind of getting out of them. Like I, I'm getting to a place with my makeup where I want it to be things that like enhance my natural features, make me feel good about myself, but like I don't want to have a ton of products on my face. Um, I think part of it maybe it's just because I'm getting older, maybe some of it is because like my skin is dry from winter time and I'm just like not feeling it, but right now how I'm feeling currently is I just want to like use up a lot of stuff that I have. So. We have this one in here, and as you can see, like, I've already got, like, you can kind of see through the bottle in some places, so it's kind of hard to mark these ones. I know a lot of these things will be getting, I will be going through and marking them for our next update, that way we can see where I started and where we end up, but for this one and the one I'm going to show you, it's kind of hard to see, like, exactly where I'm at, because no matter how often I sit the product, like, up and down, it just doesn't seem to come all the way down and you know, it's, it's hard to see where it's at. So this next one here is from Be A Bombshell. I did get this guy from Ipsy and the color is in Secret. It's a nice lip gloss. I have it on today. I like to top it on top of the NYX one I just showed you guys. Um, again, this is one that like if I really swirl the brush around, like you can start to see 
right here. I don't know if you guys are seeing that or not. Where are we at? I don't know if you guys see that. It doesn't last long. Anyways, <laughs> if I swirl the brush around on the edges, you can start to see kind of where we're at a little bit. I don't know. It's hard to judge. So that one's in Project Pan as well. And then last lip guy for right now is an e.l.f. lip liner in the color Bark. I have used him quite a lot. I use him every single time I use this lipstick combo. So hopefully we can get through him pretty quickly. So sticking with pencil products, I do have my NYX Wonder Pencil right here. I do like him for brightening up the under eyes, but half the time I don't feel like I really need it. So I want to go ahead and get this used up so I can just get rid of him. I don't know that I will be purchasing. It's nice. If you definitely feel like you need something to brighten your under eyes, um, I would definitely recommend getting it. The next one I have here is from Patty Boruff, and it's just a black eyeliner. I've used up quite a bit of it, so there's not like a, a ton left there. Um, probably a couple more months worth of use. Uh, I, I like a black eyeliner, but I'm getting to the place with it where I'm just frustrated with it. I, it, it'll probably change here by summer. And it's prob probably due to slight allergies from being cooped up in the house, a little bit of dust floating around. And also, whenever I go outside, it's really cold and, re really cold and windy and just makes my eyes water. But... I'm just tired of like the black smudges during the day coming down on my eyes. I'm not a fussy makeup wearer. I love makeup, but once it's on, it's on. Like I don't come back and touch up. I don't like to have to look in the mirror and fix it. Like I just want to go about my day. So where I'm at with black eyeliner is I kind of want to use up the ones that I have and just not repurchase them. I don't feel like I really need, need them. I'm not wearing it today. I feel like my eyes look just fine. Uh, it, it does do a lot to like darken the look of your lashes, which is nice. But honestly, for like an everyday, day-to-day -day thing, like I don't, I don't need that. It's not needed for daily use. So I kind of just want to cut back on the black eyeliners that I have. So I'm throwing this guy into Project Pan. Um, and to kind of go back to the NYX, anytime that I do use the black eyeliner, I'll apply the black eyeliner first on my top lid or top um, waterline. And then I'll go back in with the NYX and do the bottom and it kind of cleans up any transfer that I've had and brightens back up my waterline. But honestly, if I stop using the eyeliner, I no longer need this eyeliner. <laughs> so this next guy I've already hit pan on. I've been using him for quite a while. I'm just ready to be done with it. I think I'm probably going to repress it here so it's easier to use. Um, it's a powder from Almay. I don't think they even make it anymore. It's their Time Off Age Smoothing Pressed Powder. It's just a setting powder. It's working just fine. As you can see, a decent amount of pan has already been hit in there. Um, so now that you've seen what it looks like currently, I am going to probably repress this, pull it all back together. If you don't know how to repress your makeup, I'll leave a video link down below showing you guys how you can do that if you're having the same issue or if like an eyeshadow or something broke. Thank you. Can I have it? Thank you. Whatever that is. Thank you. I needed that. Next one here is a bronzer. It is Park Avenue Princess from Tarte. I believe this guy came in Ipsy. Really cute. I've been using him for a while. I think I'll be hitting pan soon. You can already see like the rings starting to show. So hopefully it'll start to come up yeah. soon. Thank you. I needed that. I needed that too. DS games. Older than dirt. Um, so <laughs> yeah, uh, there's no mirror there. What am I doing? Um, I don't think it'll be too long before I hit paint on this one, and I hope that within the, this year I can use it up. It's looking really good on my skin right now. I do have it on today. I quite enjoy it. It's one of those bronzers that build really nicely and easily without going crazy. Thank you. Um, so hopefully it still works for my skin come summer. We'll see. It might end up being too light, but as of right now, I'm enjoying it, and hopefully we can get that used up this year. Thank you, baby. We needed some Zelda. Do you want it back? Thank you. We needed Zoo Tycoon. Yes, we're back with the, with the, whatever those games are, DS games. Okay, so moving on. I have a highlight that I would at least like to pan on. It's from NYX. It's their Duo Chromatic Highlight. The color is Snow Rose. It is so pretty. I don't even know if it's going to show up on here. I am wearing it today. It's just like a gorgeous color. It throws different shifts. I don't know that you can really see the different colors here. Thank you, baby. Yes, that's um, Super Mario Brothers. <laughs> anyway, I'm not sure that it's really showing the shifts here, but it throws greens and pinks and purples and blues. It's really, really pretty. 
I enjoy it. I think it's light and natural, but like with a little bit of a fun twist. I think it's great for everyday wear. Um, so I'm just going to keep on using it and hopefully maybe we can use it up. Next one here I have been using for three years. Granted, I've had a few times where I've stopped using it um, and used other products, but I've been pretty consistent with it for the most part for the last three years. And it is my e.l.f. Brow Kit in the color Dark. Uh, as you can see, I've already hit pan on this, and we're doing pretty good. I even just recently hit pan here at the top. Um, so I've got pan going in two different spots here. But hopefully we can use it up this year. I, I have my doubts just because, like I said, I've been using it for like three years. Thank you, DS case. Um, hopefully you guys don't mind me showing you everything he's bringing me. But maybe we can get it used up this year. That's kind of my goal. I kind of like to get it out of my collection and try some other brow products. Granted, I really do like this one. And I feel like even if I try other brow products, I'll probably end up going back to this eventually. So we have one more item that I'm going to throw into Project Pan for right now because I just want to use it up. Uh, honestly, I love this blush. It is from Model Company. The color is in Peach Bellini. Mine broke and I had to repress it so it doesn't look like it did, obviously, um, when it was brand new. But that's okay. It still looks gorgeous. It's my favorite blush. I have used him... A little bit goes a long way, and I've had him for probably two, if not three years. I went a while where I used him, like, nearly every day, and I still never hit pan on it. There's just a lot of product in here, but, like, I love this blush. And honestly, blush is something that, like, doesn't really get me super excited. I've got a handful of blushes. This one's my favorite, and I'd be quite satisfied just to use this every single day. So that's what I'm going to do this year. We're going to throw it back into Project Pan. I'm going to use it every single day until it's gone. That's the goal. So currently we're at 15 items for my project pan. I think it's a really good place to start. I didn't include any like mascara or facial primers because honestly I go through them pretty quickly. And currently the eyeshadow primer and the face primer I'm using, they're almost empty so they're hardly worth including in this. I might show you the next one depending on how I feel about it and how quickly I feel like we're going to use it up. But to be completely honest, I don't know that I'm going to include those kind of items just because I do go through them so quickly. They're really not much of a challenge. So that is that is everything for right now. Keep an eye out for next month's update. We'll see how much of the stuff I'm able to use up in one month. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I really hope you guys did enjoy. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. And give this video and give this video a big thumbs up. That way other people can find it as well. Also, don't forget to go check out Ashley and Patina's channel, also linked down below. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.